Happy Monday, everyone. This evening, we bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Jalen Brunson, a second-round pick out of Villanova, and his father carved out a nine-year journeyman career in the league as well. Jalen said, quote, how hard he worked just to get unguaranteed contracts showed me that I have to work 10 times harder. I thank him for letting me see that at a young age. Guys? Ah, uh, family business. Allie, thanks. Everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start, B.A. You really want to build some momentum early. In some ways, it can really set the tone for the rest of the season. A look at the opening lineup for the Orlando Magic. Van Carroll out there with Dwight Howard. Then it's Franz Wagner, and it's Hill in at the three. And for the Knicks. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Here's Frazier. Six to shoot. Pass to Ewing. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. He drops it from range. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine. The way that scoreboard's going to light up. Man, that's a solid play. Make him earn his points at the free throw line. Yeah, and he was on his way to sending that one down. So the play is definitely to foul right there, which he did. Clark, as with most young teams, the Magic struggle with consistency. Look, B.A., that's just how the NBA can be for young teams. I mean, it's a hard league, a really hard league. It's tough. Everybody's good. Uh, but there are some benefits to going through the growing pains of being young. You learn on the fly. And there's no better teacher than experience, which comes from reps and time on the floor together. And ultimately, you hope it pays dividends going forward. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. And he's good on the second. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring him back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Quarter just over a minute play. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Walt Frazier at the line. One shot. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. Pass to Hill. And that one fall for him. He's 0 for 2. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Here's Ewing. Inside. The six-footer. It's hauled in by the Magic. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top free agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. Here's the Busher. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Offensively, they've been pretty sharp. Three for four so far. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. 
Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Outside Hardaway. Wagner outside from deep. The shot no good. So New York will take it the other way now. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. These teams split the season series last year, neither making an impact in the conference overall. Yeah, they'd settle for 500 against most teams. Both squads win challenge, perhaps a way to put it. But one of them has got to win tonight. Outside, Hill. Wagner outside. Outside, Hardaway. Pass to Hill. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. You know, right now they're just one for five. A rough start so far. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Howard's shot's good. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. Frazier with the bucket. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Now, here is Howard. He's got five. And he banks in the layup. Staying strong against the contact. Playing right through it. Wagner fighting for that finish. Here's Frazier. Turned in an outstanding game against Detroit. Pass to Garnett. No good on the shot. Orlando trailing here. Over to the left wing. To the inside. Here's Howard. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. First try to make it a three-point play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too. Thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And that one falls for Howard. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time while I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, there were great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. Five on the clock. Here's Ewing. Howard grabs the miss. The Magic have gone four of eight and looking in control. Right side Hill. Oh, it misses! Had a chance to tie it. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. In transition, the Magic on the run. And he's going for the lob! And he hits it to tie the game. Already an excellent passer at his position. Van Carroll just loves showing off his court vision. Here's Frazier. Defended by Wagner. Pass to Garnett. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Defense playing Garnett nice and close inside, but he flexes some muscle and gets through to his finish anyway. For three, Hardaway. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. To the middle. Here's Ewing, guarded by Howard. Down low. And Ewing gets it to go. Boy, down low, Ewing's strength gives him the upper hand. He's pretty agile as well, helping him push through the contact. Shot from the top of the key. The Knicks pull it in. They defeated Detroit in their last game. Oh, man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> It was that level of dominance. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for him. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Here's Frazier. He's got five. 
Over Wagner. Kept alive. Pass to Frazier. To the left wing. Goes back up. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. Substitution on the court. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. On defense, the Magic. They trail by one. There's a killer two-hand slam. How about that for a flush? Garnett going up with confidence and packing a punch. Orlando has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Fultz passes to Carter. Here's Lewis. And here's Carter. He's definitely not pleased how he played against Boston. Pass to Lewis. Just five on the clock. Fultz can't get it to go. For New York, they've gone 8 for 14 from the floor. Here's Houston, defended by Hardaway. Here's Richardson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And you know, offense has been the problem for the Magic. Near the bottom of the league for several Michael years now. Richardson Lack of efficiency for line. extended stretches. Two shots. And for the Magic, worst offensive rating in 2022. Yeah, and the second worst rating in 2021 as well. It's an issue they have been trying to address. It's limited their ability to get back into the playoffs. The Magic making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Fultz. Here's Lewis. Gets a hand on it. And Reed pulls it down. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Richardson. To the paint. Pass to Garnett. Shot from the wing. And that's good for two. He has six. You know, the mid-range J of Garnett is a thing of beauty. Textbook release from the big man. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And the Magic call time here. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. And once again, let's hear it for your next city dancer. Let me hear you once again. Now Fultz. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Lewis. Outside for Fultz. Three-pointer, Anthony. No good that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Out left to the wing. Here's Houston. Count it. One for one to start the game. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Orlando has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Pass to Lewis. Back to Fultz. Half to the outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Fultz. Tries to snap the cold streak. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Three and, you know, Fultz doesn't shy away from these situations, which I like. I mean, when the shot clock is low, he's got the ability and confidence to find a way to get a shot off in time. Here's Garnett. He's another guy who had a great performance in that win against Detroit. Another shot. It's stolen by Howard. Here's Lewis. Takes a three. And Reed pulls it down. 
Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. King gets the bucket. Hey, you know King is looking for that high percentage shot, and he'll work hard to make sure he gets it. After the outside, to the inside. Carter, the pass to Howard. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Houston. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got four rebounds in the game. Anthony in the post. Pass to Carter. That's tipped. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last touched by Richardson. Now Anthony, outside Fultz. Four on the clock. There's the three. And they've had a rough opening from the field, but still early. They've just got to trust their offense and work to get stops. Pass to King. No good there. So Orlando will take it the other way. Here's Anthony. And the Magic again can't hit. 103 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Richardson. Misses in close. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that late. First personal foul. Third team foul. Orlando trailing here. After the outside. Back to Fultz. 44 seconds left in the first. Here's Howard. Plenty of space. And whether it's the defensive effort or just bad offense, they're holding their opponent to a very low field goal percentage. Bottom line is, they're ahead on the scoreboard, and that's all that matters. To the middle. Here's Garnett, and Fultz comes to help. Garnett, that's good. Garnett. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint, but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggression. To the right side. Richardson against Fultz. Carter, the pass to Anthony. To win the drought. The shot misses. And so it's New York, finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Great shot selection right now, keeping the game simple and getting high-percentage looks. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. joining us we played through one quarter in this one all right before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the knicks give it up for their d they're battling communicating and coming up with key stops they've got them rattled it's only the first quarter and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game all right this is how the floor looks for the magic starting the second Bancaro and Carter Jr. are down low. Then there's Wagner, and it's Hardaway in at the point. Here's Frazier. Yep, count it. He has seven. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And here are the Magic now. The Knicks making their last shot. Outside, Hill. Hardaway on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Driving inside, and he jams it home with authority. Penny Hardaway showing off his athleticism there. 
He's capable of throwing it down with force. Here's Frazier, defended by Hardaway. Here's Ewing. Soft touch off the glass. And the Knicks lead by 10. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Hardaway, the pass to Hill. Gets an open look and hits it. From whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Pass to Ewing. Got it. Makes him four for six from the floor. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. The Magic shooting around 35% from the field so far. Hill for three. Rebounded by Frazier. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Well, Clark, it's getting harder to find players' true positions. We've got bigs who bring the ball up the court. we got guards who defend in the post. Yeah, it's a very different kind of a game. Actually, we hear this phrase, positionless basketball, all the time, B.A., but the skill level of players is so vast now. I mean, everybody handles the ball, wings and bigs, and you mix and match skills across the court and at every position. So a lot of diversity in the skill set of players in today's game. The Magic have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Back to Hill. Pass to Hardaway. And another basket for Orlando. And the D having issues slowing down their mid-range game. The Knicks have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Here's Frazier. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting 5 for 7 now. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket. Getting great looks inside. Now here's Wagner. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. And in international soccer, we see the worst teams relegated to a lower tier. Clark, you think the NBA needs more consequences for losing? You know, I don't think there are more needed, Brian, when you consider the fact that flattening the lottery odds was a step in the right direction recently. And then you think about the play-in tournament as well. I think that, too, adds a level of disincentive for losing. So... Right now, I think the NBA is in a pretty good place in terms of uh, dissuading teams from losing. Here's Ewing. 26 points for him last game against Detroit. And too long on the shot. Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Wagner. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. Here's the busher. Down low. Here's Reed. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make the pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, it's a new day in Orlando. Magic head coach Jamal Mosley continues to lay the foundation for the team they want to be. A, quote, tough-talking, tight-together defensive team that plays offensively with pace, space, and the pass. Brian, say that five times fast. Yeah, well done, Allie. Thank you. Uh, it'll be fun to watch them build. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Wagner outside. Pass to Hill. Now here's Hardaway. Clock at six. Here's Ben Carroll. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. For New York, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Frazier. Here's Ewing. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. 
very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Now here's Hill. 20 points for him last game against Boston. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Here's Hardaway. It's a 14-point game. A shot to stop the drill. Got a hand on it. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. The Knicks have gotten 7 of 10 attempts to drop in the second quarter. Here's Frazier, defended by Hardaway. Here's Ewing. He can't hit that time. Now Orlando takes it the other way. After getting moved from Chicago in 2021, Wendell Carter Jr. came to the Magic with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, something to prove, an added edge, and I think that has served him well in his development. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. Oh, I love the mindset to get at the rim right there. He knows they're down and wants to spark a comeback. Out to the right wing. Pass to Frazier. That's basket number six in eight tries. Sam Carter Jr., he showed tremendous growth in the 2021-22 season. Yeah, he sure did, B.A. He saw increased efficiency across the board. I mean, it really was around the rim, though, where he made his greatest stride. Showed him low post scoring, improved low post moves, and defensively, he was an anchor for Orlando. At the line, two shots. That one misses. And the second free throw is good. The Magic have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Anthony, the pass to Hill. Anthony outside. He got a piece of it. Boy, Ewing using that size to make an impact on D. He loves coming up with the rejections. Releases. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Orlando calls timeout. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Foltz, he's checked in for Wagner. Outside Foltz. Thrown down hard with both hands. There's not much that Heal does not do well. He does a bunch of good things, including spotting the open man and getting the ball to him right away. Here's Frazier. 13 points in the game. Pass to DeBusher. Shot clock at five. Overhill. Right wing. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three second violation. Magic ball. Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Grant Hill is showing you he can get physical when he has to, absorbing that contact, actually seeking it out to draw the foul. And 
And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. Hey, his combination of athleticism, speed, versatility, and skill really is impressive when you look at Grand Hill. He's a swing man who I think just continues to get it done at a very efficient clip. Whoa. Frazier with the bucket. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and he's really riding that wave right now. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Garnett. Pass to DeBusher. Here's Frazier. Hounded by Fultz. Here's Frazier. And he makes it. He's got 17. Guys, I tell you what, it feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Anthony finds Fultz. Here's Lewis. Right side Fultz. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And Ewing gets it to go. Ewing. lead. And Orlando has possession. 19-point game. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Their interior D Next continues to look shaky. Not Pretty a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Here's New York. They're on a 19-6 run, and it's in there. He's got 19. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. To the inside. It's stolen by Howard. And the Magic pushing it up now. And he hammers it home to polish off the break. The former defensive player of the year, Dwight Howard, starting the break with the steal. Here's Frazier. He's got 19. Shoots over Fultz. It's hauled in by the Magic. Howard's got a sixth rebound on the night. Anthony, the pass to Hill. Here's Lewis. Let's the three fly. And it's Ewing with a rebound. Here's Frazier. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Using his post moves to get the two points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Anthony. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Hill. And his fourth make of the day in ten tries. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Nick's shooting incredibly well, 63%, and really making their shots count. Count it. Well, you know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. Nick's way. He's been absolutely relentless. 36. Fultz passes to Hill. And here's Howard. Down low. Here's Lewis. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Always a threat to score the ball. Rashard Lewis had the Rashard defense all Lewis. over him that time. Didn't bother. Two shots. The first free throw is good. They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter. Trying hard to make up ground. And the Knicks making a change here. And so he makes both from the line. They are perfect from the line in this quarter and need to stay aggressively in attack mode if they want to gain control of this game. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. A minute four left in the first half of this one. Back to Fultz. 
Outside, Hill throws it up high, and it's Howard finishing it off. Great reach that time by Howard. He went way upstairs to throw that one down. Can pretty much get any pass that's around the goal. Pass to Houston. Here's Ewing. Guarded by Howard. Just four to shoot. Here's Ewing. 12 points for him. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Pass to Frazier. Here's Richardson. Oh, swiped away. With one on the clock. And Howard with the lay-in. Howard's got 12 points in the game. You know, showing flashes of his old self here. I mean, when Howard finds that rhythm, it feels like nobody can stop him. And he's right. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. It's the Knicks leading by 17. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks. Tibbs, what'd you think about the way this team defended in the first half? We're not bad, but we have to sustain it for the entire game. They put a lot of pressure on you. We got to make sure we're containing their dribble penetration, and then we got to react on challenge shots. The expectations are high for the second half. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. New York was looking great right away. They showed great chemistry, going on a quick 10-3 run to open up the game. When the clock ran out in the first quarter, they were up by eight. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Knicks. And the game plan they went with was very clear. They were center around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the score. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Magic. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problem. They're getting outworked, outclassed, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands dirty. They're playing like whips. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. On your feet, fans, and, make and as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And the Magic shooting only 39% so far in the game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Nice job that time using that strong body of his inside. Once Howard has positioning, I think you got to wrap him up. That free throw misses. That's off as well, so he misses both. And the Knicks shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. On the court for Orlando, we've got Ben Carroll. He's out there with Dwight Howard. And it's Hill in at the three. Pass to Wagner. 62-42. Hill with it. Free throw line jumper. Jump shot is good. 12 points for him. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And the Knicks lead by 20. KT just looked so confident. Like the moment he had the ball, he knew that shot was dropping. Pass to Wagner. Outside Hardaway. Wagner finds Hill. And he dunks it down. 
That's Great to see a young guy play that kind of cerebral game. Wagner sees a shooter and gets him set up nicely. When Franz Wagner went eighth overall to Orlando in the 2021 draft, his family was ecstatic. Him and his brother Mo, teammates with the Magic, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that if you're Wagner. Two shots. And he drops the first. The Wagner brothers, not the only brother teammates we've seen lately, Clark. That's exactly right, B. I mean, how about the Morris twins on the same Phoenix Sun squad? You know, that's um, got to be pretty special to play with your sibling, I would think. Outside Hardaway. Count it. Hardaway's got 11 points. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Frazier, defended by Hardaway. Ewing, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Dwight Howard, first personal foul, second team foul. Patrick Ewing at the line. Oh, one shot. A towering presence on both ends. Ewing is a nightly double-double threat for his team. Hardaway, the pass to Wagner. Outside, Hill. Back to Wagner. Pass to Ben Carroll. Just five to shoot. Out to the wing. The floater. Hill can't connect. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Magic on D. Defended by Wagner. From the wing... Wagner takes a lot of pride in trying to make a defensive impact and does a good job contesting the shot there. Six on the shot clock. Here's Garnett, defended by Wagner. Garnett no good. The Magic have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Deflects the pass. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. Reed's checked in for New York. For your New York Knicks. Willis Reed... So it's the Knicks now, and at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Lays it up and banks it in. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Hardaway, the pass to Hill. Back to Hardaway. Pass to Wagner. Shot clock at six. 13 feet out. Here's Howard. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Howard's got 14 points. Such a great rebounder. Athleticism and length. Dwight Howard knows how to use those gifts that he possesses. Here's Reed. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Franz Wagner. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And he knocks down the first one. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. 
Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. King, he's checked in for New York. And a change for the Magic. Carter's checked in. Now here's Hill. 14 points for him. And it's Wagner missing. Defended by Wagner. Pass to Garnett. Here's Frazier. Here's King. Shoots over Hill. No good. A bit long that time. The Magic have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! You know, Hill can turn it on so quickly. Once he buries a couple of quick shots, then that basket starts to expand. Pass to Reed. Here's Frazier. Over Wagner. Frazier with the bucket. 27 points for him. Pick works well there. With the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You gotta be tougher defensively. Orlando calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Now here's Wagner. Pass to Carter. Outside Hardaway. Now here's Hill. Five to shoot. From 17. The bank shot. No good. The Knicks have gotten fives to go in the third. Here's Frazier. Here's Reed. Here's Garnett. Pass to Frazier. Second shot opportunity. Garnett no good. And Orlando shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Here's Garnett. Pass to Reed. Up and over Carter. Reed, no good. The Magic have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Here's Hardaway. It's hauled in by Garnett. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Here's King. Here's Garnett. Checked by Hill. Here's King. Up and over Hardaway. And it comes off the front of the rim. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Ben Carroll. It's rebounded by New York. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's Reed. He has six. To the wing, right side. Hill with the steal. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. For three, Hardaway. Buckets. He's now six of ten from the field. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Now a timeout called by New York. And a big round of applause for your next City Kids. Lewis has checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Hill. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Fultz against Richardson. Up and over Hardaway. Pass to Reed. Here's King. Here's Houston. Defended by Hardaway. 
Here's King. Over Wagner. Goes to the fadeaway. And the Knicks lead by 20. Knicks lead. Orlando has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Outside Fultz. Pass to Wagner. Back to Fultz. The Magic need to put one up here. Carter from outside. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got three assists in the game. Outside Richardson. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. The fearlessness they've shown going strong inside has been impressive. The defense hasn't been very effective against them. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. Howard's checked in for Orlando. And the free throw, no good. The Magic have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Wagner, right side. Fultz with it. Richardson picks him up. Outside Fultz. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last touched by Richardson. And it's the Magic with the ball. Trailing by 19. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, I think he's just got to be a little smarter around Howard. That guy's, I mean, Howard's pretty crafty at drawing contact on the way up. Two shots. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Richardson. To the paint. Here's Reed. Pass to Garnett. Blocked! Wagner outside. Second chance effort. And no problem from Hardaway as he finishes at the rim. Hardaway's got seven points for the quarter. Hey, I love the effort from the defense, but Hardaway able to finish through contact. Nicely done. Richardson against Fultz. Pass to King. Ooh, Howard with a block. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to Cinder is what he stamped that one with. Here's Houston. Six to shoot. Here's Reed. Guarded by Howard. Count that one. Reed. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Fultz passes to Wagner. And it's Howard finishing it off. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third quarter. Tips. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Dave DeBusher. Wagner outside. To the middle. That one no good. New York goes the other way with it. Earlier they held a 23-point lead. Wagner with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. It's stolen. Pass to Richardson. 
There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. Hardaway with it. He's got 16. Outside Richardson. Here's the busher. On the wing, Richardson. Defended by Wagner. Pass to Ewing. Just five on the clock. Here's Houston. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got six rebounds here tonight. Now Fultz. Fires at the elbow. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And you know, Fultz plays bigger than his size down low, guys. Outstanding at using his body to draw contact. The first one falls. Good on both. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Richardson. And a nice finish on the layup. Richardson's gotten four this quarter. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Outside Fultz. Wagner outside. Fires the three. Off on that one. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Knicks out in front, up by 15. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Here's Frazier. Pass to Reed. Here's Frazier. The three is up. Tries again. Count that one. Reed. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Fourth quarter on the court for the Magic. We've got Dwight Howard. Van Carroll out there with Wagner. And it's Hardaway in at the one. Here's Van Carroll. From the arc. Up again. And Reed pulls it down. And New York shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Here's Frazier. Pass to Ewing. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Now here's Hardaway. Wagner finds Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Howard determined to punish the rim and scare off defenders when he gets inside. Watch out now. Here's Frazier, defended by Hardaway. Pass to Ewing. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second first, no foul. Dwight Howard picks one up. Yeah, you know, it's never easy trying to defend Ewing inside, which is why he gets fouled. At the line, two shots. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. 
for Orlando. They've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Back to Hardaway. Pass to Ben Carroll. Out to the right wing. Some room here for Hill. Knocks down the 18-footer. That's from Hill's got 10 points here in the second half. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Frazier. Here's Ewing. Guarded by Howard. Here's Garnett. Over Ben Carroll. Garnett, that's good. And the Knicks lead by 19. Boy, he plays with so much physicality. Garnett, accustomed to finishing through contact. Back to Hardaway. Bogner outside. From 20 feet. That's good from Hardaway. On the assist by Wagner. Wagner's got his seventh assist here tonight. Here's Frazier. Pass to Garnett. It's stolen by Howard. Here's Hardaway. It's deflected. And he recovers it. And here's Howard. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. From Howard's got 22. You know, this is where Howard does the most damage. With his height and length and athleticism, how do you guard him inside? Here's Frazier, defended by Hardaway. Pulls up at the elbow, and it's New York scoring again. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Here's Ben Carroll. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Cannot leave Howard alone on the offensive glass. When you do, he's making you pay for that mistake. Here's Frazier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 31. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Hardaway. To the inside. And Carroll. Shot blocked. And they're able to recover. Hill the pass to Howard. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Dwight Howard getting a little tricky there, pulling the man with the pump fake and able to draw the foul. At the line, two shots. And that one falls for Howard. And so Howard nails them both. The Knicks have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Here's Frazier. The shot no good. Good D by Hardaway. And Orlando shooting only 42%. And it's Wagner missing. And at this point, they're loving this big lead. Absolutely. And they haven't really faced a lot of resistance. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And something you'd never like to see. But, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. Yeah, you know, aside from some of the player protection rules, which have been of benefit, a lot of it just comes down to what the body can withstand. Michael Richardson's checked in for Frazier. Well, the Magic shooting just around 45% on the fourth. Hardaway, the pass to Hill. Floats one up, and he lays it in. Hill's got four this quarter. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Here's Richardson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Michael Ray Richardson at the line. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second one. 
The Magic have gotten six of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Hill. Here's Van Carroll. And there's the lob. It's tipped. And they're on the break. Here's Houston. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And the Knicks lead by 16. Now here's Hardaway. Up and over Richardson. Hardaway, no good. Defended by Wagner. Yep, that one's good. You know, Garnett is a willing passer, especially when one of his guys has a clean look. Hardaway, the pass to Hill. Wagner with it. Hardaway on the wing. Guarded by Richardson. Shot clock at five. Pass to Hardaway. From deep. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Knicks ball. The Knicks making a switch here. Into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Dave DeBusher. The Knicks have gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. And here's Richardson. Five on the clock. Pass to DeBusher. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Orlando Ball. Lewis has checked in for Orlando. Rashard Lewis. Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Mix foul. Michael Wayne Richardson. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Pass to Lewis. Now Wagner. Inside. Here's Hardaway. There's the block. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man. And that one's good. The busher. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. 82. Wagner outside. Back to Hardaway. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. Four on the clock. Here's Garnett. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now Wagner. Here's Hill. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Hill's got six here in the quarter. Tell you what, good luck trying to stop Hill inside. I mean, once he's this deep, the defense is done. Howard against Richardson. Ooh, Howard with a block. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. There's no foul. First one falls for him. He simply just willing himself to the line here. So both teams changing it up here. And so Howard nails them both. Here's Houston. Defended by Hardaway. Pass to Ewing. The shot off that time. And Orlando the other way now. In transition, the Magic on the run. Here's Hill. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Grant Hill. 
And for the next, they're shooting an efficient 57% tonight. Here's Garnett. Pass to DeBusher. Here's Ewing. Guarded by Howard. Down to five on the shot clock. Who poked away. It's stolen by Howard. Left side Hill. He can't get that one to fall. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. It's good. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and short, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Hardaway after the basket by New York. Wagner outside. Banked it in off the glass. Wagner knows how to pick and pop. Sets a solid screen and then gets out of it quickly into the roll to his shooting spot. Pass to Ewing. And stolen by Hardaway. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. Here's Wagner. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. And the Knicks making a change here. Brunson's checked in. Now here's Brunson. Clock at six. Pass to DeBusher. There's another rebound. And he hauls in his 20th rebound. Oh, just dominating the glass. To the wing on the left. Here's Ewing over Ben Carroll. And he rebounds again. Rebound after rebound after rebound. He is crashing with energy. Man, you got to love it. Brunson against Hill. Goes up again. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Knicks. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. The stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. So it's Orlando now. The Knicks making their last shot. Offensive board. And Ben Carroll gets it to go. Oh, what tenacity on the boards. Ben Carroll takes pleasure in capitalizing on the offensive glass. Outside Brunson. Down low. Here's Ewing. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Third personal foul. Third team foul. Patrick Ewing. At the line, two shots. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Here's Suggs. The kick out to Wall. And it's all from three-point range. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Suggs with the bucket. Boy, I like how confident Suggs is on the break. Feels like he's fully in control in these situations. Here's Brunson to the paint. Here's Garnett. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. 
They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.